Welcome again to Raina Clothy. I'm Ryan Eco Raina, the owner and founder. And today we are discussing what is a linen suit. Um, so I'll talk about the fabric and obviously the suit as well. Um, we can put fabric uh, or we can use that fabric as a shirt or as a suit. So I'll talk about it a little bit more of a suit in this topic. Um, but as well, it can be used for a shirt and it kind of goes in the same concept because it is the same fabric um, used. So so we'll start it with what is linen itself. So linen is a fabric made from the fibers of the flax plant. Uh, so it's used in many applications such as you know bags, aprons, towels, <clears throat> napkins, and tablecloths. Um, but it's you know prized for its properties as it relates to clothing. So it, indeed, linen keeps you relatively cool and fresh. Uh, furthermore, it's also rightfully known for being prone to wrinkling as a casual fabric. In menswear, the term linen is traditionally used to describe the visual parts of a dress shirt, um, as this used to be the most common material used for shirts before the invention of the cotton gin, was, um, when they made cotton um, cotton shirts from that time on. So, one would say, for example, you know that's appropriate for to show, you know, one in fourth or one fourth of an inch or half an inch of linen linen from your sleeve when wearing a suit jacket. Um, so the fabric is is laborious um, and basically time consuming to manufacture. So and linen garments tend to be more expensive than their you know in class cotton counterparts. Now let's see how the linens you know the history part of it and how it's made <clears throat> so without you know any doubt linen is the oldest fabric that's still in use today dyed flax fibers were discovered in a cave in georgia that's the country uh, not the u.s state uh, so approximately it was founded 36,000 years ago you heard that correctly. <laughs> uh, so ancient Egyptians used linen um, for burial shrouds and mummification. And it was also worn by the living in white um, due to Egypt's extreme heat. So Ireland has a unique story itself there in Ireland um, as it relates to linen. So though flax plants have grown in Ireland for years and years, Irish linen has been manufactured from flax fibers uh, that have been imported almost exclusively from France. Now, the therefore the term itself, Irish linen, uh, refers not to the country uh, of the fabric's origin, but rather where the fabric was woven or knitted. So it's interesting, interestingly enough, you know, Irish linen is capitalized as it's a brand name so nowadays the lay the lion's share of linen comes from northern france belgium and the netherlands so moreover various garments made of linen of linen are available seasonally through most retailers and it's quite common you know to see a, in warm climate in climates year round now, the benefits and drawbacks of linen for swimsuits, or from sw swimsuits, from men's suits. <laughs> uh, so, I'm thinking too much of summer. <laughs> uh, any any given fabric will you know, obviously have unique properties that give it an edge or disadvantage over others, and linen it is no different. So, below are some of the main strengths and weaknesses that we'll be discussing here uh, today. So the benefits of linen, um, first off, the coolness. So there's, you know, there's a reason why we wear linen when it's hot outside. Uh, it keeps you cool and is highly absorbent. Um, in, you know, sweltering heat, linen cloths are your best friends. <laughs> uh, one common misconception about linen's coolness is that it's lightweight. So while there are indeed lightweight linen fabrics, lots of them, uh, lots of the linen cloths tend to be on the heavier side, often 10 to 11 ounces per running yard. Um, so for comparison, wool in this weight 
would be for a suit worn in the fall or even in the winter. Um, so this additionally weight, this additional uh, weight really helps linen to drape and tailor well, but it also doesn't sacrifice any breathability or wicking properties that linen otherwise has. So the next one, as far as a benefit, the casual yet elegant style it has. So even though their suits, you know, linen cloths are far from dressy, in most scenarios. So if you're looking for a summer style that ex, you know, exudes a, a casual vibe, donning you know, a linen suit is undoubtedly the just the best way to achieve that. So that is has that it has a high natural luster it is very helpful in that regard. You know, men who just really appreciate Italian style um, outfit or ensembles are often big fans of linen. Um, as it's more relaxed than British style tailored clothes tend to be uh, a well tailored linen suit like those listed uh, that we listed there um, can be you know particularly stylish and conform nicely to business professional attire. Now the strength um, is another benefit of it, the strength of it. So linen is extremely soft, or I'm sorry, extremely strong fiber. And is unlike other fibers, you know, insofar as it's stronger um, wet than it is dry. So the fibers don't stretch and are resistant to damage from abrasion. So it's also re resistant to beetles and moths, whereas your wool fabrics um, tend to be the opposite. Now the drawbacks of linen, the fiber list uh, uh, elasticity. So Although the fabric is strong, you know, linen lacks elasticity and doesn't spring back easily after it's been creased. So this explains why it wrinkles so easily, but more, um, we'll discuss that here. So also it has, you know, it's best to avoid creasing linen. So if you prefer a sharp crease in your trousers, uh, save it for wool, <laughs> uh, repeated, you know, creasing can break linen fibers, um, and this, you know, this wear is visible in collars, hems, and other areas that, you know, that get creased or ironed during laundering. The, again, it's wrinkle prone. If there was one thing that, you know, you knew about linen before you started reading um, into it and learning about this is, um, it was probably the fact that it wrinkles easily. <laughs> so to be clear, you know, this is <clears throat> a natural occurrence and it is beloved by linen enthusiasts. But, you know, if you're a stickler for looking neat and pressed, linen might not be the fabric for you. Um, and that's about it as far as linen itself. What it is is great as far as casual wear itself. I would definitely recommend it in the summer because it um, breeds well. And then also, again, it is just a made for summer, essentially, of how it's made. Um, and yeah, that is it. If you guys have any questions, like to learn more about the company itself <clears throat> with Raina Clothier, feel free to follow any of our social media pages. We um, post content twice a week on all five platforms. And uh, we'll love to do um, business one these days with you as far as our garments too. So again, uh, thank you very much and enjoy your day.